Hello, hello, my name is Stephen, and today we are going to learn the one thing that separates the boys from the men. No, not that. We're going to learn how to wet clean your Sony sensor. Also sounds a little bit odd. We'll just go. First things first, why do you need to clean your sensor? Well, because it gets dirty obviously. If you're like me and you find yourself shooting on anywhere from a beach to a gym to even construction sites, you can find dust and grime getting into your camera sensor. And just like if you were working on a construction site and you know your pits get stinky and you need to shower because you smell, only in this case the pits are your sensor. The sensor's dirty and, and sti this is a really weird analogy. Your, your images will look dirty and, and mucky and they'll look bad. Yeah, your, your images will just look really bad. So clean your sensor. So what do you need to clean your sensor? Well, let's jump into it. Now, full disclosure, this is the very first time I have ever attempted to clean my sensor by myself. So this might be a very short video, but hey, nothing ventured. On a serious note though, messing with your camera sensor can really mess up your camera as a whole. So do not attempt this unless you are confident in your ability or you're trying to make a YouTube video, I guess. First thing you're gonna need is this little blowy thing. I'll add a little link below to where you can buy all the stuff that we're going to use in the video today. Now I'm currently using my Sony a7 IV to shoot this video, so we're going to try and clean the sensor of my old and uh, not recently used Sony a7 III. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to engage the Sony automatic sensor... Oh, I have no battery in this. Ah, I'm unprepared. Let's hope this is charged. And yes, I'm wearing shorts. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to unscrew the cap using a little blowy thing with the camera facing down, blowing up into the sensor itself. Then keeping the camera facing down so no dust or anything can come in, we wanna go into the menu settings, turning on the camera obviously, and we wanna to go to the cleaning mode. Once we perform a auto image sensor cleaning, the camera will shake loads and try and dislodge any other dirt and grime that might be there. And for some people, this is the last step that you're gonna to need to do. Most of the dust, if not all, will have come off and your images will look great again. However, if there is some stubborn dirt left on the sensor, the next thing you're gonna to have to do is a wet clean. So I got this on Amazon. Again, I'll link below. And there you have it. It also has some great instructions on the back to talk you through how to clean this sensor. So let's read these instructions, try and clean the sensor, and hopefully not break your camera. So in this camera cleaning sensor kit, we get multiple swabs, all individually packaged, which is terrible for the environment, but I guess they have to be sterile. We also get this little bottle of cleaning fluid, which we are going to use when we need to wet clean our sensor for those tougher spots. Hmm. That doesn't fill me with confidence. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove our sensor cap and then we're going to flip our camera upside down so nothing can get into our sensor. Then we're going to want to navigate to the Sony automatic sensor clean and engage that, the cleaning mode as you can see. That's going to shake off any excess dirt or grime that might be in there and then using our blower again, camera facing down, hopefully it'll really clear out anything that, that is stuck in there. We'll flip the camera over and finally take out one of our swabs. I really should put on a pair of gloves for this bit. Like Mickey Mouse. So I'm going to take my lens cleaning fluid, unscrew the cap, take off the leak proof seal and put one tiny single drop on the swab. Ah, one drop doesn't seem like enough. Okay, I'm freaking out. Um, I'm gonna do two. It says one to two. I'm gonna do two drops. Two drops. Uh, okay, two drops, that's enough, I'm sure. So, the last thing we're gonna do is we're going to very carefully swab across our sensor in one direction with a constant and minimal pressure and then swab it in the opposite direction with the other side of the swab. Now, in theory, that 
should be it. And it does look great. Oh, I think I can see a little something around the sensor. I don't really want to do that again. Um, okay, one last little... Whoosh, whoosh. Hopefully that won't do any damage. And uh, we're done. I'm not doing any more. I think it looks great, but let me know in the comments down below what you think. So there you have it, folks. My sensor is clean, my camera is not broken, and hopefully you have been edumacated. If you like this video and you would like to help me build a community here about camera gear, then please share this video with your other camera friends and show them how much more you know than they do. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn those little notification button on so that you can get the next video the minute it comes out as soon as I find the energy to actually sit down and make it. Until next time, I'll see you when I have the motivation to make another video.